Have you been wondering if the Logitech Circle View is the right camera for your home kit home? In this video, we're gonna help you answer that question. Hey guys, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you new smart home content every single week looking at Apple HomeKit, Amazon, Google, and whatever else I find interesting. If you find that interesting, do me a favor, ring that bell, subscribe, and get notified when new videos are posted. Today we're looking at the Logitech Circle View camera. This is another of the recent releases of HomeKit Secure Video cameras available today. And with a lot on the market, I'm gonna to try to give you the, the quick version of what you need to know about this camera and whether or not this might make sense in your smart home. The Logitech Smart Camera, the first thing you need to know about, it is an indoor and outdoor camera. It has an IP rating, which means it's gonna be able to survive outdoors, which is really critical. That's your first decision point in that this is really one of the only outdoor cameras available for HomeKit nowadays. Yes, there are different versions from Arlo, from Eufy, that have battery-operated cameras connecting to a base station, but this is the only Wi-Fi camera in this form factor that can go outside. Number two thing you're gonna to need to be concerned about is the cable. This is a wired camera with a long cable, but the cable, always attached. So if you have any issues, woodland creatures, anything like that that chews through the cable, you cut it by accident, you're gonna have a problem with this. One of the other great things about this camera, there is, right on the back here, there is a privacy button. You're gonna be able to flip it down, which is nice, so you can face it straight to the ground, turn off that privacy button, and the camera will be not recording. So if you choose to use this indoors, and you're looking for a way to make sure that your house is secure, and you're not rolling that film when you don't need to be, then this is probably the best choice of cameras currently on the market. Let's get into the review. So getting into the speeds and feeds, the Logitech Circle View is a Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz, 1080p with a ultra wide 180 degree field of view, which is pretty much the largest field of view you can get in a HomeKit camera right now. It's got two IR LEDs for night vision, an IP64 rating, which means this is an indoor and outdoor camera, two-way audio, HomeKit secure video, and is one of the only cameras again that comes with a physical shut off button which is a big deal if you're looking at this from a privacy standpoint so moving into the unboxing the first thing you're going to want to be aware of is that this works with apple home kit only there is no amazon there is no google this does support full home kit secure video so you get the cloud aspects of home kit secure video assuming you have your icloud account uh, the two terabyte account for up to five cameras if you have more than five cameras or you don't have an icloud account you don't get the benefit of the recording of course, this is everything in the box exactly as you would expect. You've got the instructions here, the Apple HomeKit code. Um, every, anything is pictorial. So again, really nice, easy, shows you exactly how it's gonna work. The instructions includes descriptions of all the features, all of the things that you would expect. So getting the camera out, you can see here, this is a HomeKit camera. It's got that round shape. Uh, it's definitely not as large as the Circle View was. And you can see here that it's got the ability to uh, have this mounting thing on it. Uh, it's got the ability to tilt up and down in case you don't trust the privacy button there on the back of the camera. All of that is there and available to you. So there is one thing that I do really wanna call out though, which is the power cable. Uh, I know in other reviews, people have looked at it and said like what were they thinking and I think that's a fair comment um, in Logitech's defense I will say that I think it's probably due to the fact that this is a, got an outdoor IP rating so uh, by making sure that the camera that the cable is plugged in all the time is is always connected it means that no water is going to leak in there and the camera is going to be safe even though you've got it in outdoor weather conditions so although the cable is always connected and it is waterproof, the, the uh, USB brick, the powering brick that they give for us is not waterproof. So that's something you're going to have to deal with somehow, whether you use a PUE to USB converter or something like that to make sure that it is fully and always 
uh, waterproof and make sure that your camera is protected. So let's move on to adding this to Apple HomeKit now. As Logitech is all in on Apple HomeKit right now, there is interestingly no Logitech app anymore. So the entire experience that you're going to be with this camera is managed by Apple and any of the HomeKit compatible apps, including the firmware updates, which is new. Traditionally, we've seen that the vendor's app has been required for firmware updates, but we're going to be able to get those through the Apple Secure Video piece, which is good. It's going to be interesting to see if we get that for other devices as we, uh, as we continue into the future. So you can see here that, again, full HSV. And again, that means that if you've got that two terabyte iCloud account, you can have up to five cameras. As we move into iOS 14, we're going to be able to get motion zones, facial recognition, those kinds of things. But today, you're basically limited to uh, the ability to capture uh, based on uh, pet detection, vehicle detection, and person detection. So there's nothing really more than that. But again, looking into the future, we already know good things are coming later this year. So looking at the camera a little more, you can see that you've kind of got this rounded shape, which is that fisheye effect, which you're going to get from that 180 degree field of view. So not exactly unexpected. It's going to cover a larger range, but that's at the price of that image being slightly distorted. Uh, in addition to the camera piece, you're also going to get a light sensor and the motion sensor exposed into Apple HomeKit. And then, of course, those can be used to trigger uh, any other automations you want off of of uh, those sensors, right? Which is a good thing. So what do I think, guys? The Logitech Circle View camera is the logical successor to the Logitech Circle 2 cam. This is a HomeKit secure video only, which is an interesting choice um, in that you're not gonna be able to use this with Amazon or Google, so you're really buying into the Apple Home HomeKit ecosystem with this one. Again, no judgment there. I love HomeKit, but if you want to use the cameras with anything else, this is not the camera for you. If you're looking for, on the other hand, weatherproofing, you want HomeKit secure video, you want to have privacy controls over your own video, you want to be able to have that physical secure button, then this is probably one of the best choices that you can make right now, as well as that enormous field of view, definitely the widest angle available right now at the expense of that fish eye effect. What do you guys think? Is this a camera you would consider putting in your house? Anything I missed? Any questions I didn't answer? Do me a favor, comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, do me a favor, ring that bell to get notified when new videos are posted. Likes and shares are always appreciated. See you guys soon.